Wow. It's time to get into our little physical attraction. So show us something from your lit. Well, show us an item from your fashion wear and let the people know. Take it over, girl. Yes. Okay. Well, I have this garment right behind me. Let's see. Can I move this up? This is here we go. So we have got the this was from my college um year my last year at college mm -hmm. and it's a double breasted floor length blazer dress and it's got these beautiful puff sleeves and you can even see the detail here the buttons all hand done all in the um in the collar as well as the lapel we did all pad stitching so hand done pad stitching and pad stitching is a bespoke tailoring technique that okay. gives the structure to the lapel so that it stays nice and stiff I, right I'm about to say, um, girl, can you explain because i don't know what the <laughs> yeah yeah that's what pad stitching is you. because and that that's what um has to do with also like the standard is that a lot of times um in fast fashion really to apply to get the structure in like your collar and like cuffs and whatnot they will use um glue or something called fusible interface and they use glue yes. and that glue stiffens up the fabric in places that you want it to be stiff but for my suits i do the old-fashioned way which is using um horsehair canvas oh, wow. and doing um a particular stitching it's called pad stitching mm -hmm. onto it and that's what gives it that's what gives it the shape so it holds it's shaped beautifully as well as on the lapel it holds its shape so it's double breasted as i said it's completely floor length and this was from my college final project at college yeah yes oh, how long did this take uh well you know this was a project so you kind of had to okay. you know be speedy about okay. it but um start to finish i think it took me i think i did it in like three weeks if i'm honest yeah because i had to you know make sure i got the deadline but if i was taking my time with it i would have probably used like two months to do it but i did it in three weeks nonetheless okay. okay would you say this is your most proudest item you've ever created yeah absolutely like okay absolutely right now it is because it embodies not only um the like my design aesthetic mm -hmm. but also the technical side and like there are certain things like on camera you can't really see all you can just see is a jacket but in person mm -hmm. you feel the weight of the this piece like it's it's heavy because of mm -hmm. the canvas that's inside of it you can see the stitching like on the button you can see like how the pocket is made there's pocket i always put pockets on every single one of my garments because it's 2024 mm -hmm. women need pockets um so i am just obsessed with all of the details and just how perfect it came out but this is actually also my hat too i also have a fedora collection a wide brim fedora mm -hmm. collection and i've got my logo on the side this is also made out of 100 percent australian wool that i am also extremely proud of mm -hmm. it is the first um piece that i have like for mm -hmm market so like i have a whole inventory set up like you can just order it have it shipped to your door you know and however long it takes to ship right but um that was like because like you know being a student in school we do a lot of like one-offs mm -hmm. but this is a gar uh the hats are pieces that i have full inventory of that right. will stay you know for however long until we sell out and then we order and that's like real business stuff so i'm very very proud of being able to kind of like do that and be like a real business and have sales i've got my website we've got mm -hmm. you know the shipping and the packaging and the, right. the you know shipping slips and everything so i'm very proud of that very much so yeah